Hey guys, it's your guy John, coming after another Diablo Immortal video. This is going to be a quick video and I want to kind of cover just a couple of things in the game that I figured were probably very helpful for a lot of you out there who are struggling to progress in the game. Before we do that, I do want to pull up one thing real quick. Uh, you will notice that my channel has been growing massively and I appreciate your guys' love and support. It's awesome. Um, I just ask you guys, please, please subscribe. As you can see here, 88% of people are not subscribed to me. Only 7.8% actually have the notifications on with the bell. Um, I would just appreciate it if you could hit, go down, down below, click that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, especially if you're already coming and watching a lot of my content. Um, I can see that, you know, according to the analytics here, a lot of people are watching the same exact videos every single day and they're just not hitting that subscribe button and I get it, we all forget, but I would greatly appreciate it because it helps me get more money and more revenue so that way I can then dump it into doing this content and, and continue to upload videos every single day. So if you wouldn't mind, please hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, show some love. I would greatly appreciate you. Let's get into the rest of the video where we talk about how to get all the platinum you need to upgrade all the gems that you want. All right, all right. So maybe not how you can get all the platinum you want to buy everything you want to do. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but here's the takeaway. Uh, so you guys saw my video, right? Where I said, hey, pump the brakes, stop stop upgrading your, your level five gems this is what i ran into it sucks you're gonna see right here yeah i have my one at three i have another one at rank three i got this up to rank two now if i want to go ahead and i want to update or upgrade this one what i'm gonna have to do is i have to have once again another jewelers or another blood so jade so i have to come over here i have to go into my inventory and i have to upgrade it okay upgrade Darn it, I need to have one more. Not the one that I'm gonna use to let rank it up, but I need to have one more. Okay, how can I get the platinum to get that? How can I get one without running rifts? Like, yes, I have orbs. You can see up here, I do have enough orbs. I could go, I could run a 10 spot. I could try, I could try my luck, see what I get. However, if I really wanna make this work for me, I'm gonna take a few things into this stock. I'm gonna take a little bit of inventory. Now, I'm sorry for you free to play players out there, Sometimes this will work okay for you because if you craft it via FA, I believe that one is actually tradable and marketable. And there's gonna be some other methods of getting these gems, like um, uh, mainly, yeah, just from FA, unfortunately, it sucks. I feel so bad for that. I hope they change this because they are different types of crests. Not all crests are created evenly. Unfortunately, some of these are the ones that are bound to your account and do not work on the marketplace. Keep that in mind. So if you see this little symbol in the top left here where it has the little market, that means you can sell it on the marketplace. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So what I did is you'll notice that I have 64,000 platinum now. How did I get it? I spent most of it trying to upgrade stuff because I bought two of these blood soaked jades. Well, it was pretty simple. I went in here, I went to open market. I saw what I could sell and I figured out, okay, well, what do I need? What's my target? I want to buy a blood soaked jade. On my current server, there is no blood so soaked jades going for under 64K. That's for a tier one. And the other part of this is it's taking forever to get one because as soon as these go up, they're getting bought. Notice that it is all at four hearts on here. So four people are gonna get notified immediately as soon as this goes up. And the same thing is gonna happen for the other ones as well. So notice that the market isn't really moving a whole lot for three and fours. However, those fodder ones, everybody's realizing the same thing I did when I posted my video the other day, that you need a lot of these fodder. So to get these fodder, sometimes you have to sell the other gem that you need to get these. So what did I do? I sold a seeping bile gem. What I'm advising to you is figure out what you can sell. What do you have on your account that, that's sellable? Sometimes this gets confusing, have to pay attention to this marketing on the top left. And I understand that, that's fine. But notice that Whatever is lower in here is usually the one that's got a higher commodity. Look at how this is like the notifications are just stacked. Everybody wants them. That tells you these are going to sell quick. So these are high moving items. So you want to keep these in mind. Uh, so if you can sell tourmalines, rubies, sentry, and topaz, you can get a lot of platinum very quickly, which then allows you to turn around and reinvest and buy the gems that you need when they come available. Also make sure if you do your dailies, which I still have to do, that when you complete this, you get 300 platinum every day. That adds up every day. More and more platinum means more and more that you can buy, sell, flip, so on and so forth. 
Uh, the best thing too is if you ever see your uh, the level gyms go down lower, so you can snag one of these at like 50k or whatever, buy it, resell it. Uh, it takes a week once it comes off the market, but you can resell them, play the long game. There's nothing wrong with that. But it was very advantageous for me to sell one of my seeping bios because my seeping bile is at rank four, same as my blood soak chain. My blood soak chain is rank four. See it right here, right above my dome. Should be right right there. Yeah, yeah. And then if I come over here, my seeping bile, well, unfortunately, it is in the same exact situation right there, rank four. And I don't have as many. I'm not gonna be able to upgrade this to rank five because I'm still gonna need at least six more, I believe six more seeping bile, or yeah, five, no, five more. Uh, six or seven or five, it's somewhere around there. It's an odd number, I believe. I'm gonna need more to upgrade it. So does it make more sense for me to sacrifice another gem that I, I, I'm not using currently? Or does it make more sense to utilize one that I know is gonna take me a long time to do, put it on the market, sell it for the price, and then go buy the one that I need? So if I get one more blood soaked jade, what that's gonna do for me is that's gonna actually let me allow me to upgrade this, this blood soaked jade here, and when I upgrade this Blood Soak Jade, it's gonna be really, really nice for me because it's going to do a massive boost. Notice here, that's gonna do a 90% residence. Combat rating's gonna go up by 22%, and we're gonna add increased chance to find your magic items by 15%. That's gonna be helpful for finding legendary pieces of gear. It's also going to um, give me an additional three per, or 2%, sorry, uh, decreased damage while below 50% health. It's very helpful. It's one of the best gems, gems in the game, which is why I'm kind of focusing on it first. And I'm leaving the other ones at a lower tier so that way I can upgrade them to higher ranking before I move forward. I did want to make this video quickly for you guys though, because I want you guys to be aware that sometimes you have to make these hard calls. Sometimes you do have to say, okay, well, what can I do that I can, that's gonna make work well for me and uh, really allow me to um, actually make a profit in the game and then accomplish the goal I'm trying to accomplish without breaking the bank. And this is one of those things where you can do it. By selling one, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul, and that's okay, because it gives me what I want. Also, notice, remember how I said, like, I wasn't sure that you could do this and sell it on the market? Well, you can see here, it is. it does have the symbol on here, so let's craft it and see what it says. We'll go ahead and we'll roll the dice just for you on YouTube, craft it. Give me a two out of five, give me a blood soaked jade. Ah, whatever, two, two I gotta follow his burden. That's fine. But let's go see, is that sellable? Was that one actually sellable? Uh, followers burden. I don't know which one I just crafted. I don't believe, it's this one right here. It's a new, it's a new one, it's highlighted. Notice that it is sellable on the market. Uh, it shows you right here what the platinum is. So you can do that. So make sure you guys max out your fall. Go craft your random gems. Try your luck, see what you get. And uh, yeah, go sell those, get the platinum you want. Uh, that's the biggest takeaway from this video. I hope this helped you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, please like and subscribe if you are enjoying my content. Um, I just want to say how thankful I am for all of you guys. A lot of you guys are just helping me out. You guys are leaving comments. You guys are talking to me, interacting with me. I appreciate you all. Um, if you are somebody who wants to continue to do such things, and let's say you want to go and you want to be a part of a website, be a part of a team, please go over to the Aftershock United Discord server. Hit me up, hit Chosen up. We'll put you to work uh, with, with a website, writing blogs, working on little projects here and there. If you're someone who wants to be part of an acting community, we're there for you, man. So can't wait to see you. Talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Peace.